Good, Good evening, and welcome to the Lopac on Township Planning Board meeting of July 2022. At this time, I would like to invite you to join us in a silent movement of prayer and followed immediately by the oath of allegiance to the flag of our country. At this time, I'm required to state that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided indicating the time and the place of the meeting in accordance with Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975 by advertising a notice in the Star and Ledger and the Express Times, and by posting a copy on the bulletin board in the municipal building. Beth, may I have a roll call, please? Yes, members Clymer, Coyle, here. Leo, here. Lito, here. Lee, here. Savanaugh, here. Leakes, here. Mayor Mangucci, here. Vice Chairman Sampson, here. Chairman Van Hoot. here. Thank you very much. Uh, at this time, we'll move on to old business. <laughs> Regarding old business, the NFI Real Estate LLC preliminary major site plan application with bulk variance relief, 188 Strikers Road, Block 99, Lot 3.01 and 6, a continuation of the hearing. It will not be continued this evening. Um, the objectors to it had a expert come down with COVID virus and couldn't be here tonight and in accordance with the best of legal advice available to me. We and Mr. Peck, I think, agreed to it uh, as his NFI representation to extend us to the August meeting. That would be correct. And uh, we also uh, give our consent to the board to extend time uh, through the end of August in which to act on the application. OK. Thank you. Uh, we have a motion. Okay, uh, with that explanation, I'd entertain a motion to extend the hearing to the end of August. I'll make that motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Beth, roll call, please. Yes. Members Coyle? Yes. Leo? Yes. Polino? Yes. Sazanoff? Yes. Weeks? Yes. Mayor Mangucci? Yes. Vice Chairman Sampson? Yes. Aaron yes. Okay, and in accordance with that, if anybody is here for the NFI real estate, LLC matter. That matter is now being carried to August 24th, same time in this room. No further notice will be provided. Okay. Returning back to the order of business, uh, has everyone received a copy and read the uh, minutes of the June 22nd, 2022? It's a partial, yeah, I think, is it at the court reporters? <coughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the transcript from NFI uh, to be sent over. Okay. Received. I haven't received it yet. Okay, so, so maybe we'll just postpone it until the next. Yeah, so I did give you a partial um, regarding Jessamine's. Uh, okay. You can vote on that. Okay. 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 Next order of business. Uh, we have the Jessamine Minor Subdivision Resolution, uh, block, six, block 65, Block 5.01, and this is the resolution. Are there any questions or any corrections in this one? I believe it was the first one. Okay. I believe it's in this one, Chairman. Uh, Adam has indicated to me that there was a reference in there to a dry well mm -hmm. that should not be in there. So I would just omit that and have to, if somebody's inclined to make a motion to approve it uh, with the understanding that it will be amended to remove the reference to drywall. With that being stated, is there any objections to doing it? Okay, I'll entertain a motion with that stipulation in it. So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. We'll call that, please. Yes. Members Coyle? Yes. Leo? Yes. Lido? Yes. 
Sazanov. Yes. Leaks. Yes. Mayor Mendici. Yes. Vice Chairman Sanson. Yes. Chairman Denton. Yes. Moving on to the next Jezzeline minor subdivision. This is Block 65, Lot 3. Also, the resolution. Are there any corrections to be made in that one? Or? No. Any objections for any of the board members? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, resolution for the minor subdivision. So moved. Do we hear a second? Second. Roll call that, please. Yes. Coyle? Yes. Leo? Yes. Lino? Yes. Sazanov? Yes. Leaks? Yes. Chairman Lynch? Yes. Vice Chairman Sampson? Yes. Chairman Dembley? Yes. Next on the agenda is the Phillipsburg School District in regards to tennis courts. They want to double duty tonight, Chairman. Well, I can see that. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Chairman, Board. Uh, for the record, my name is Mark Peck. I'm an attorney with the Florio Perucci Law Firm here on behalf of the Phillipsburg Board of Education. Uh, as the Chairman indicated, we're here uh, for a concept review pursuant to the Municipal Land Use Law Section. 31. Um, under that, other public entities, such as school boards, county, state agencies like that, not bound by local uh, zoning regulations. However, you know, if they want to do some sort of capital installation, uh, it has to come before the planning board for review and comment, really more of an advisory type function. Um, we're here tonight proposing uh, to install some new tennis courts at the high school. So with us tonight, we have uh, Ross Kamura, he's landscape architect. He's who designed uh, the project. We also have David Sullivan, he's uh, who's going to build it, and Stacy Horn, who's the business administrator, and she's the one who will be paying for it. Well, actually, you all will be paying for it. She will be writing the check. Uh, we're only planning on having Mr. Kamura testify. Uh, he'll just walk you through the plans, explain. Uh, what's contemplated, and then we can just answer any questions. And like I said, we have the other witnesses here just in case questions are asked. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Ross, you want to come up? Uh, do you need to put one thing? Is that you guys have? We have a set in front of us. <coughs> well, the public, if you had, did you bring uh, a board in? Yeah. Do you have to do that board right here? Yeah, we, we can just use the yeah, stand right here. Yeah. You do that, and I'll do this. Can you swear on? Sure. Raise your right hand. Do you swear from the testimony you're about to give the board is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Please state your name and spell your last for the record. Ross Kamora. K O M U R A. Thank you. You'd like me to qualify? If you would, please. Okay. Mr. Kamara, would you give the board the benefit of your educational and work background? <clears throat> I graduated from Arizona State University with a Bachelor of Science degree in landscape architecture. I've practiced in this field for over eight years now. Um, I do have my landscape architecture license. Uh, in the state of New Jersey, uh, and it is current and in good standing. And you're familiar with the high school? Yes. And you prepared the plans that we're here about tonight? Yes. Very good. Mr. Mr. Kamara, has uh, expert for purposes of this hearing? You need to satisfy for what you qualify. <laughs> Very good. And actually, to clarify, it's not a hearing. It's actually just more of a presentation. So. If you would, uh, can you explain using those plants on the board? Could you explain uh, to the planning board what, what we're contemplating? Uh, so the subject property um, is known as Lot 44, Block 2, uh, located at one state liner boulevard uh, in the township of Lopat Um It's also known as, or it is the home of Phillipsburg High School, as you guys know. Um, the specific project location is this triangular piece um, down by State Liner Boulevard uh, to the west and a private drive uh, around the uh, rest of the specific, specific location. It's just north of the existing baseball and soccer fields and about a thousand feet south of the high school building itself. Um, as you can see on the existing 
conditions. As you can see on the existing conditions plan, this piece of land is primarily open. Um, the topography generally slopes from the northeast to the southwest, which we'll, I'll bring up again during the grading and drainage design. There are seven existing trees within this area, uh, ranging from seven inches to 24 inches in diameter of breast height that will need to be removed uh, due to the proposed improvements. Um, and then there is also an existing gazebo slash gathering area towards the top of the slope that will remain. As far as the proposed project goes, uh, as Mark mentioned, we are proposing five new asphalt tennis courts. Um, due to, or to minimize the amount of soil moving and earthwork, uh, the tennis courts will be on two levels, uh, two on the upper level and then three on the lower. Uh, these courts will be bound by a 10 foot high chain link fence and retaining walls of varying heights due to the slopes. Um, the layout provides accessibility to both levels. Uh, the walkways to and around the courts comply with ADA standards. Um, in addition, an, a portion of the existing parking lot uh, will be reconstructed to provide one ADA compliant parking space. Uh, and then we are also adding 13 more parking spaces along the northern road parking um, for the users. Um, lastly, there are a couple of bleachers around the perimeter of the courts that will provide fans, <coughs> coaches, and other spectators uh, seating and to the uh, players playing tennis. Um, there are two entries, uh, entry points to the upper level courts. Uh, the northern entry point is the accessible route, while the southern point requires a staircase due to the slopes. The one entry point to the lower courts um, is the accessible route uh, to that portion. Um, is there anything else here? I believe that's. So moving on to the grading and drainage design, uh, the proposed grading generally follows the existing drainage pattern northeast to southwest. Um, since the project uh, is considered a major development due to the increase in impervious area, we are required to meet the stormwater requirements, um, and that is to include a green infrastructure that achieves both design and performance standards to achieve uh, stormwater runoff quantity, quality, groundwater recharge, and erosion control. As mentioned or outlined in the stormwater management report, we do meet these requirements with the inclusion of an above ground uh, bioretention basin, a series of uh, conveyance piping and structures. Um, you'll notice that there are trench drains along the southeast and southwest uh, edges of the tennis court on both levels to collect stormwater runoff uh, along the tennis courts. It'll be conveyed through a series of pipes below the tennis courts and into the basin, um, which is then discharged through an outlet control structure and into the existing stormwater system at the southernmost point of the site. Um, <clears throat> as far as the landscape plan goes, the basin planting design was produced using the DP's best management practices manual um, for landscaping. So these species that were selected are from that and are native to this region. Um, and that's all the landscape that's happening on this project. And finally, for solar erosion and sediment control, uh, due to the um, disturbance area of over 5,000 square feet, we are required certification from the Solar Conservation District. Uh, we have submitted a package to the Upper Delaware Solar Conservation District, and I received confirmation yesterday that it will be approved at their August meeting, which is the second Wednesday of the month. Um, if 
the board requires a copy of the certification. We can certainly provide that once we receive it. But all soil erosion measures and sediment control measures will be installed and maintained uh, in accordance with the latest standards and uh, the approved documents. So that, that's the plan. That's the plan. All right. Does, uh, does the board have, have any questions? Uh, I think our engineer has uh, some questions about the basin. There's maybe a problem there. It's in the karst area. So. Okay. Yeah, we can speak to that. Uh, thanks, Ross, for going through the plans. Um, I took a look at the plans, and since this is sort of a concept, uh, sort of courtesy presentation to the planning board, um, I went through kind of on a high level and reviewed primarily accessibility, uh, grading, and stormwater management on the site. Of course, layout, you're the expert in terms of landscape architecture and recreation <laughs> facilities, so looks good to me. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so specifically, um, Looking at the grading, a few comments I have, if you want to flip back to the grading plan. I guess that has contours on it too. We had some recommendations on the grading uh, that you can maybe, maybe consider. Um, okay. And the first, really the first actually, main recommendation for grading uh, in terms of revisions is to maybe provide a swale along the north side. On this side? Right. So any of the, the upper area around the, over that driveway all comes down almost like a sheet flow pattern. Right. So just to prevent water coming over the walls that are going to be retaining the the, uh, the quartz, if you had a swale along the top, you can get the water around there. Yeah, and you're really only so managing the water that's on the on the court and not coming off of the fields up above. Yeah. Especially with the storm events we've been having and these high intensity events. So that's one recommendation we have. Uh, you know, we think Understood. would be helpful. Um, the other item I was uh, curious about ADA accessibility, and I did look at the plan obviously and. Uh, I didn't notice the access to the upper courts. So there's a gate there, I guess, yes. at, the, at the bleacher area? Yep. Okay. Uh, it, it's at the northeast corner. At the northeast corner. Okay. Yes. So yeah, I didn't see that when I was looking. So I was going to ask that question. So otherwise, obviously, that with the stairs there, it wouldn't be accessible, right? right? right. Now I see the gate here. And it's sort of... Uh, it's kind of hidden. With it's hidden with the heavy line type yeah. and the trench drain and sort of everything going on top of, of uh, graphically. But that's great. So that was one additional question I had um, and of course you know uh, in terms of but it'd probably be a good idea when you make the planner revisions labeling the contours at least the plan set it looks like now you have contour labels on there the proposed contour labels but the set that I received didn't have the contours labeled so it's just a you know, housekeeping thing uh, and then the final item is for grading wise for the stormwater management basin if you could label the emergency spillway and Provide contour data, uh, just reflecting the uh, the elevations in the stormwater report. Got it. Okay. Um, and then, in terms of stormwater management, um, it does meet, as you mentioned, it does meet all the township and statewide standards for uh, rate, volume, groundwater recharge, and water quality. Um, the one, or uh, water quality, there's one kind of caveat there, um, and it's a technicality. But I guess you have an 18 inch uh, planting bed in the bottom of the bioretention basin. In order to achieve the water quality with that depth of, of soil, you need to have a terrestrial planted community, right. and that would be like woody vegetation. And what you have now is grasses and perennials. So to use that vegetation, you need to have a 24-inch soil bed to meet the the statewide standard and the regulations. So that would be the only revision. So you'd have to change the landscaping or change the soil depth. And it's probably easier to change the soil depth, I'm guessing. Right. So that would be the only item uh, okay. there. And then the final housekeeping item is um, there was some minor looking at the stormwater report and looking at the details at the end of the plan set. There's some minor discrepancies with the outlet control structure elevations in the report versus uh, on the plan. So I just want to make some corrections there. Um, yeah. Actually, the plan is a little bit lower than what was contemplated in the report. So. It's not a lot. It's 0.2 feet, which is pretty minimal, but still should be corrected. So, um, and that's all I really had. Thank you. So, and I could send you an email if you want with those things. So. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like through it all at you quickly. So, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <coughs> Board members have any questions? Any uh, lighting being proposed for this? As of right now, no. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> I'm just curious.
from the uh, road that goes up to the uh, workshop, I guess you call it, or whatever you would call it. Maintenance garage, yeah. What is it called? It's not just our maintenance garage. Maintenance garage. What is the distance from the road to that? Uh, I would have to confirm that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, just for, is it something safe wise that, you know, I mean, if somebody loses it, it falls over, is there a safe distance there? It's not this. No, 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 no. One coming off of will do loud. And it's a road it goes in. This one or this one? Yes. There's two, there's two there. There's one what, one's the to the north of the, the road. road. One yeah. south. Right, but coming, you're, you're going to take your road and run it over to. <laughs> State line boulevard. Right, that's the existing road. Right. right. And Loops and around. If you, if you go follow your red across, that's a road right on the other upper side of that. That's a walk path. Now it's a road. Okay. It's <laughs> All right. Um, just so, just for curiosity, what was the distance? And is it safe enough for everything? From the tennis, from the tennis courts itself, it's it's going to be at least 200 feet. Uh, so okay. it'll be more than this. This Aaron Judge up there. Yeah, I was going to say, anybody hit the ball over there probably shouldn't be playing tennis. <laughs> <laughs> playing the wrong game. I've seen him. For the, for the, I guess it's, it looks like seven inch. There's like one decision that's like seven inch. Um, I appreciate you trying to save the 24 and 26 inch by the Evo part of the diagonal area. Could you consider at least for, it seems like there's something else, what an eight incher north of your maybe proposed swale. Um, would you consider transplanting anything? Oh, this one? Uh, it's on the soil, you could see the eight inch. Something perhaps, you know, unless it's a God forbid an ash tree or something in trouble, but would you consider transplanting something small up near that? Uh, Eight inches. It's at the very top of the one you're just looking at. The green one. This, you might not see it. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Are you asking? Consider transplanting a seven inch or perhaps up there, creating a network of of something that uh, could could yeah, possibly that is a, similar to what it once was. That is a young enough uh, tree um, where it can be planted um, easier than obviously a large. Um, yeah. Um, so that's something that can definitely be considered. I play tennis, so I'm a fan. Although I had to go to the, the local regional park, so they're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any local questions? I'm good. No objection. We'll now open it to public comment. Please come forward and state your name. Robin George, 34 Raleigh Court. Um, I'm on the Shade Tree Commission, the chairperson. Um, I don't have the benefit of having that in front of me. So you said there were seven trees of varying sizes, and they all had to be removed. Right. But you didn't say anything about planting new trees, and you are significantly increasing the impervious surface, which is going to increase the temperature and increase your drainage problem. So why aren't there any trees here? Where can we plant some trees in there? Well, it is an open area, um, so there, there's definitely possibilities. But, they, but it's not in the plan. It is not. And the trees need to be in the plan first, because you're taking seven trees out. Correct. What kind of trees are you taking out? Uh, I would have to think about that. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's a, so certainly a very significant concern to the water runoff um, for your for your stormwater flow, for your drainage. All of those seven trees are holding, they're, they're taking care of a lot of that already for you. You're mentioning putting a swale in. You know, if you have a tree line there, that tree line will also improve the water runoff and break up the rainwater hitting the ground. And so I'm not seeing any of that if you don't put them around there, obviously you've got to do all of this drainage and extra work to replace those trees. Are you going to put seven trees somewhere else on the property? That is, <laughs> that I, no. 
Yeah, that would be a, a board I mean, policy question. I mean, that's, that's, okay, so you guys are on the board. So that, that's a lot of trees to be removing, a lot of a lot of, a lot of carbon dioxide offset and a lot of stormwater management getting destroyed. Um, is there any plan to replant trees? And Michael, I appreciate your comment about replanting it, but transplanting a tree with a seven to eight inch diameter at breast height is, it, what is its likelihood of thriving? Well, you maintain it and take care of it. Hard for me to sit up here and not say anything because I work I work for the school district at this moment in charge of buildings and grounds. I'll be leaving shortly, but the trees that are being taken out of there mm -hmm. are truly not worth a whole lot. Of the, I'm not going to argue carbon footprints and all that other stuff with you, but those trees were part of the original uh, tree line that was up there. Okay. There have been a ton of trees planted up there. Some actually need to be taken down now because they've died from what from whatever. Uh, but I, I can't speak for the board mm -hmm. or really even the school, but I think they would be uh, open to planting some trees up there. Yeah. Now, from the maintenance standpoint, I have maintenance. I have trees down around my existing tennis courts, <laughs> which, which, uh, you know, I've got to get leaves out of there every year. And the leaves stay in the tennis courts, and then it's got to be repainted. So it's got to be a, 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 you know, something we something we can work with. Yeah. I, I would be willing to say that the school district will probably do something. Yeah, I, it's it's just when we're removing seven trees and. I, they, I didn't say they needed to be right on top of the tennis courts, of course, right? Do yourself but, a favor and write up there. The trees that are being taken down. I'm not saying we shouldn't plant the ones are really not worth yeah, much. I, I, I was completely unprepared because I didn't know this was, you know, I didn't know what the agenda was. So I'm sorry for that. But it raised my curiosity. So thank you. No, thank you. <clears throat> I don't want to see any other further public. public comment. Seeing none, we'll close the public portion. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate, you know, the board's uh, attention and certainly the comments, which, you know, we again have Ms. Horn here, who I'm sure will report back to the board what the concerns were, especially with the trees. So we're sure they'll do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Mr. 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 Can I ask a question? Is there a chance to resolve the issue right here now? There's nothing to resolve here as far as the planning board. You're strictly a here as a courtesy to us, so I mean, we're taking no action on anything. Okay. I'll open it to uh, that complete your presentation, Mr. Pack. It does. Thank you. Thank you. At that time, this time we will move on. Um, you know what? We should vote on that just to say that it's otherwise compliant with the uh, master plan and um, well it's not an objection we're in conflict with our master plan or other, any other not inconsistent yeah not inconsistent i think that would probably be an appropriate vote for the board to take that takes i'll entertain a motion that the presentation is not inconsistent with the master plan I think that one. Second. Roll call vote, then. Yes. Members Coyle. Yes. Delia. Yes. Lido. Yes. Kazanoff. Yes. Leith. Yes. Mayor Mangucci. Stayed. Vice Chairman Sampson. Yes. Chairman Van Blake. Yes. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you. Appreciate your time. See you next month. Sorry, Ross, sorry, before you leave, do you have a card? Yes. Exchange trading cards. Do you have an extra one? Sorry, Chairman. Take your card. Thanks. I'll shoot you an email. Thanks. Hey, so you're going to get to see eight innings. Yeah. <laughs> Probably be enough. <laughs> okay, uh, no further public comment on it. In that case, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. 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 All those in favor say yes. 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 Any no's? Any abstentions? Very much. Easiest thing I did all day. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah.